Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Pace Studio. Today, we are live from the Manhattan Center with Hudson Taylor. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I'm good. Thanks for being here. Uh, Hudson Taylor have a new EP out called Feel It Again, March 23rd, and we're excited to hear some new songs. So tell us about the first song you're going to play. Uh, the first song we're going to play is the title track of this EP. So it's called Feel It Again. Uh, we wrote it like a couple of years ago. Um, maybe. It was actually one we wrote maybe like four years ago, but it, it just lay dormant. And we, we at the time we wrote it, we were like, ah, oh, maybe we'll come back to it at some stage. And we started working with a, a new team of people and we kind of gave them all of our our old existing demos and things that we hadn't done anything with. And they were like, yeah, this one's great. And yeah. it was, we just, we, we just kind of... Yeah. yeah, and it kind of got, found a new meaning for us. We... Um, yeah, we were just starting to release music again or thinking about releasing music again and writing lots of songs and the song just kind of encapsulates getting ready for that and feeling all of those emotions again. And uh, yeah, for the vi for the music video we recorded for it, we got to do that at a big festival in Ireland called Electric Picnic and run around. We had a, our own kind of circus cabaret crew. Uh, yeah, check it out. It's, yeah, cool. It was fun. Whenever you're ready. Cool. Nice one. Come on. Two, one, two. Come down like a waterfall I'd rather 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome, thanks. It's nice to play for an audience. I know we're playing as well to an audience online, but it's really nice many, to... Many, many people uh, that you hello, can't see. Hello, many people. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys released an album, Singing for Strangers, in 2015, right? Yes. And then this new EP that's going to be out in March is your first release since then. So what has been inspiring this new material? Oh, loads of stuff. Um, we, we, we're brothers. Um, we're from Ireland. And we write... A lot, a lot of our songs are kind of autobiographical. They're about things that are going on around us, around in the world. Yeah, I took a lot between of us. Yeah, you know, took a lot of inspiration from touring, uh, traveling around and seeing new places, meeting new people, uh, how that makes us feel, all of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, like Harry said, autobiographical kind of. Yeah, yeah they're always about something that would mean mean something to to me. Uh, yeah, otherwise, I, I don't really see the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we like going out and playing songs where, you know, we know that we the intention behind them was was what you know, it's a nice feeling and we, we can go out there and just really feel it every time we play it. And uh yeah. That yeah. that the E P that's coming out, it's kind of it's probably the most of the stuff that's gonna come out later on, it's probably the most um maybe uplifting or kind of happy happiest probably stuff. So yeah. Cool. So tell us about the next song you're gonna play. Which one are you doing next again? We're going to do Care next. Oh, cool. Yeah, you, you work away. Um, so this is a song that's from our first album. And uh, it, it was one that we wrote. Like Sometimes songs just come out in a, in a very kind of flowy way. This one just came out almost from beginning to end. In about five minutes, it was, it was just a conceived sort of little thing like this, you know. And the next thing... You know, five minutes later, having recorded on our on our on our phone, just a little voice memo, listened back to it, and it was basically a fully formed song, um, where Alfie was mainly riffing just random lyrics that sounded great, and I was kind of playing guitar and harmonising with him, and yeah, this this is the the result of that song. It's called Care. <coughs> Woo! One, two, two, one, two, three, four. Secret lover, it never works out in the end. If it keeps on going, you might lose your only friend. It's all connected, baby. It's all connected to our brains. Think a little harder when you're feeling all alone. For heaven's sake, I No sense how he treats you How could you miss the signs He's been cheating on you Messing with your head I only say it cause I care Maybe I dream about you Maybe I'm too afraid to say I think about you Every second of the day He's a hypocrite And he should be locked up in a cage it's all connected, baby It's all connected to our brains Think a little harder When you're feeling all alone For heaven's sake, I have been screaming at you all the time It makes no sense how he treats you How could you miss the signs? He's been cheating He's been cheating on you Messing with your head I only say it 
you guys were just talking about the road and finding inspiration there Mm -hmm. and you're going to be hitting the road again now right in the u.s and uh, also playing a lot of festivals this summer like i saw you guys on the lineup for Reading in leeds which is super exciting huge huge festival such a good festival um so i'm wondering what do you find exciting and or kind of overwhelming about kind of massive crowds like that oh wow well seems kind of crazy i think i I love (laughs) festivals because you see everybody there's like that there's so many people getting together all for one thing you know for for music or a band or an artist and i've had so many lovely times at festivals before just watching a band and looking around me mm-hmm. and everybody is singing their hearts out you know? yeah and for for three minutes four minutes everybody's together doing that i know it might sound pretty cheesy but uh that's probably my favorite thing about festivals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. I'd say just even on the overwhelming front, like this is amazing for us. This is the first time we've kind of come to the states to do a tour. We're we're out here supporting an artist, a friend of ours, Gabrielle Applin, and this is hopefully the start for us to come over here and do more gigs and and tours and and around the states. So yeah, just loving it. Yeah, totally. We, we both absolutely love my live music, playing and and watching. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's exciting. So we're in the right jobs, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so tell us about the last song you're going to play. Uh, the last song we're going to play is called Run With Me, uh, and it's our kind of most recent release. Um, we wrote this one in January a few years ago uh, as a kind of, when our first album came to an end and all of that stuff came to an end, and we started kind of, I suppose, writing New Year's resolutions. Um, so the song kind of started like that, as, as if it were an, a New Year's resolution. And then more recently, <coughs> sorry, it took on a new meaning, um, it's kind of about bringing our friends along with us and everyone kind of working together. But then we also um, made a music video uh, for it, which had nothing really to do with the way that but what the song was written about or about having friends on the road. It was actually about dogs. Um, the song lyric is kind of like, run with me, baby, I need you more than ever. And when we wrote the song, we played it to our family and our our older sister, Chelsea, um, <laughs> suggested that we make a video that somehow incorporated dogs because she, she and us and us alike are dog lovers. So we made this music video basically um, where we involved a like a dog shelter in Ireland, Dogs Trust. Um, but we want to just kind of like raise awareness for people to, to adopt dogs, not sort of sh- shop for them or whatever. So, yeah. If you want it, that's another one. If you want to check it out, we also got like acoustic versions of all of these songs. You know, there's produced versions on Spotify, there's produced versions on YouTube, and but there's also acoustic stuff. And, and I think the acoustic stuff for me, anyway, it's closer to this kind of thing. We've got other people in in our band with us and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. We actually like this is a rare thing. We like we hadn't done a just two piece stuff like this for a while, so it's really really refreshing for us, you know, to kind of strip it back to just the two of us. It's where we start, you know. Yeah. So let's yeah. hear it. Nice. Awesome. This song's called Run With Me. <laughs> thank you so much for having us, and thank you all for watching. I'll just quickly tune one sec. Cool. Just to save us all, <laughs> all the out of tune guitar. Cool, nice one. All right. One, two. <laughs>
dancing with an angel She says we'll be fine Oh, I Run with me, baby I need you more than ever I won't let you Won't let you down Thank you. <laughs> Hudson Taylor, thank you guys for being here. Thank, thank you, Lauren. Lauren. Feel It Again EP is out March 23rd, and everyone can catch you on the road this summer. Absolutely. Nice thank Thanks you, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you to Pace as well for having us. <laughs>